Good morning. Welcome to this class um, for a lovely summer day, even though I can't dress for summer because this room is always like an ice box. <laughs> Let's get started sitting on our mats. Finding a comfortable seat in Sukhasana, easy pose or half lotus or full lotus or sitting on a blanket or a block, whatever works for you. And we'll begin with the centering. So close your eyes or look down cast. And become aware of the environment around you. Notice any sounds, maybe there's a fragrance. Bring your awareness in closer, become aware of the weight of your torso on your mat, the air and your clothing against your skin. Bring your awareness in deeper. Notice what's happening in your mind right now. Is it agitated or calm? Whatever's happening in your mind, allow that to float through your mind like clouds, either drifting or scudding across the sky. Observe the thoughts without getting caught up in them. Notice any feelings that are showing up for you today. Know that your feelings are ever changing, so let them move through you again without attachment, aversion, or judgment. And underneath everything that's going on, whatever's happening in your world, in your life, there is an infinite ocean of silent potential. And we can drop into that ocean and draw forth an intention for today's practice. Perhaps it's someone or something you'd like to dedicate your practice to, or something you'd like to experience in class today. And mentally repeat that affirmation for yourself in the positive present tense three times. And let's take a nice deep breath in and exhale it out with a sigh. <sighs> Letting go of whatever you don't need. Deep breath in, exhale. <sighs> Deep breathing can change your body chemistry. Sighing helps remove toxins from the system. And notice if your whole body begins to tingle and if your attitude begins to become lighter and happier. And let's take another deep breath in, bring the arms up overhead, interlace the hands, steeple position, big stretch, and let's tip over to one side. Inhale back to center, let's reach over the other way.
Come back to center, float the arms down, take a breath. Let's do a quick spinal twist. And back to center and spinal twist the other way. And back to center and hands to the floor behind you. Big heart lift. And exhale, reach forward. Inhale, back up. Take a deep breath in, interlace the hands and bring them behind your head. Let's release the head back. Broadening the chest, deepening the breath, opening the heart. And then tuck the chin and curl in. Inhale, open. And exhale, curl. Moving with the breath. The full breath. And come back to center, drop your hands to your shoulders, and we'll do some shoulder circles. Circle back the other way. And let's kiss and squeeze. And up and down. And bring your hands out, and bring the hands together, <clears throat> crossing and opening. And then we're going to keep one elbow in our body. The other side, we're just going to come up and over. And back to center. And then the other elbow up and over. And back to center. And down. Uh, let's reach the arms out. Let's stop traffic. And we'll turn the fingers down. And we'll stop traffic. And turn the fingers down. Shoulders are down. Spine is tall. Deep breath. Little smile on your lips. And we'll do the hula around to one side. And hula back to center. And hula around to the other side. And back to center. We'll turn the palms up and we'll hula one more time around to one side. 
back to center, and around the other way, and back to center. Take a few breaths, feel the tingling, the energy, the warmth. Sitting up nice and tall, let the chin come to your chest. And we'll draw a little U on our chest with our chin. And come back to center, sitting up nice and tall. Let's rotate the head. And rotate the other way. And back to center. Let's bring one hand to the shoulder and the ear to the opposite shoulder. And then we're going to move the head forward and back over the shoulder. Back up, take a breath and notice how you feel and bring your other hand across and then ear to shoulder and we'll move the head forward and back over the shoulder. And come back to center, inhale up. Um, breath and notice how you feel. Maybe you want to change legs. Sitting in one position for a long time. And let's do some little circles of the body. Opening up the hip joints. Let's come to stillness and we'll circle the other way. And come back to stillness. Let's stretch out the legs. We have nice and tall, we'll squeeze and spread the toes. You're supporting with your core, not your shoulders. And let's do a little brain game here, pointing and flexing opposite toes and ankles. Let's 
and we'll circle the nipples. Circle the other way. And let's, let's do the opposite foot again, and then let's add a knee. So get that, you're flexing, and then he comes up, pointing, and he comes down. Like we're going for a little walk. Draw your belly in and up, support with your core. And let's windshield wiper the legs. Sense of stillness. And let's come over onto our hands and knees. For some table warm ups. Pressing down into the base of your fingers, pressing down to the toenail side of your foot. Draw the belly in, lift the tailbone, lift the head, big stretch up, and reverse. Taking full deep breaths. And we're going to add a lion face to this. So we're going to inhale and exhale, open the mouth, open the eyes. One more. Again, we're taking in lots of oxygen and we're releasing anything we don't need. Letting go of any anger, distress, discomfort, bringing in joy, happiness, love. Breathing in whatever good qualities you want to achieve or experience. Breathing out whatever doesn't serve you. One more. And come back to stillness. Take a breath. And we'll do some cat circles here. Now that we've woken up our inner, are all cats called felines from lion all the way down to pussy cats? Or is there another word? Anyway. Mm -hmm. And let's go the other way. And back to center. And if you're feeling particularly adventurous today, perhaps you'd like to try a balancing twist. So inhale and reach up and exhale, slide through. Tuck your chin, look up, send your leg out behind you. And lift that leg. And the trick is to press the hip forward and the leg back. Finding the balance there. And then if you feel safe, you can come up onto your hand, or you can just stay there with one leg up or no legs up. Find the way that makes you happy today.
and come on back down. Inhale up and back to center. I'm going to switch around. Inhale, reach. Exhale, slide through. And if that's all you want to do, that's perfect. Or maybe you want to send your leg out behind you and stay here. Tuck your chin, look up, or lift that leg. Press the hip forward and the leg back to find your balance. And if you feel you've got it, add an arm. And come on down, inhale up, come back down and press back into child. Take some nice full breaths here. Inhale back into the table. We'll bring the left foot through. Walk that foot forward if you like. Press the back toes into the floor. We'll do a little toe hamstring stretch, reaching back, bowing over the knee. Inhaling forward, dropping the hips, lifting the chest. Just come up onto your fingertips. Exhaling, draw the belly in to help pull you back. Inhale forward and stretch up. This time we're going to hold in our lunge position. You can point your toes now and come on up. So you can stay here, just finding your drishti in front of you, or bring your hands to your heart and rotate towards that front leg, coming into a spinal twist. Keep going if you like, putting your elbow to the outside of your knee. Arms are vertical, palms are horizontal. Pressing into the side of your leg and into your palms to help you twist. And if it works for you, looking up past your elbow. Deep breaths, which is a little challenging when you're in this twisted position. Inhale back up. And come on back down into child, feeling very accomplished. And I'll swing around and we'll come back up into table. Then bring the right foot through. And if you have the flexibility, you can walk that foot forward, keeping the knee over the heel, bring the hips forward and down. Press the back toes into the floor. Inhale and then pull yourself back using your abdominals. Inhale forward, lifting the chest and looking up. One more. Point your toes. Come on up. You can stay right here if you like, finding your drishti. Or bring your hands together in prayer position. Turn towards your front leg. And you can stay here. Or tipping over, bringing your elbow to the outside of your knee. Palms are horizontal, arms are vertical, pressing down into your 
hands and into the side of your knee to help you twist. And if it feels okay to your balance, looking up past your elbow. Finding your breath here. Inhale back up, come back to center, come on back down and back to the child. Let's inhale back up and we'll make our way into a forward fold. And if you'd like to come through downward facing dog, you can do that. Walking your hands forward a little bit, turning the toes over, stretching back. If down dog doesn't work for you, come into a forward fold any way that you like. And we'll be in the middle of our mat. Hanging over the legs, the knees can be bent. And let's bring the hands to the legs and we'll roll up. I need to bask in there for a few breaths. Those lifted and spread wide, arches lifted, kneecaps lifted. Elbow down, perineum and abdominals lifted, side body lifted, rib cage tucked, shoulders up, back, and down, fingers reaching to the floor, chin in slightly, back of the neck long, string pulling you up through the top of your head. And let's go into a breath of joy. Remember it's three sniffs in, one long breath out through your mouth. Three sniffs in through your nose, breathing out through your mouth. The arms are forward, out and up. The exhale is down. Here we go. You can have a little bounce in your knees if that makes it more fun for you. Belly, rib cage, chest, big sniff in. Getting big in all directions. And then letting it go. You can continue with that, or if you want to ramp it up, we can do some fast ones. <laughs> and if the bliss starts to bubble up, let it. If you got tired, skip a set, or if you feel too lightheaded, or stay with the slow variation. Two more. <laughs> and take your time. You should feel lightheaded and tingly. Deep breathing, slowly, slowly, slowly coming up. Heart's beating faster. Whew. If you need to sit down, do that. Or just come back to your beautiful mountain pose.
Are you ready to go on? All right, we're going to go through the entire warrior series today. Let's start in a nice five pointed star. A few more breaths here, getting as big as you can once again, wiggling those shoulder blades down your back and towards each other. Gentle stretch in the front of your chest, tailbone down, feet reaching into the earth, feeling grounded and spacious. And let's rotate the right toes 90 degrees, scoot the left heel back, hips and shoulders facing the long side of your mat. And inhale tall, and then the right knee is going to bend forward. That's the only thing that moves. Whole rest of the body is exactly the way it was. And then turn your head and look over your fingers. And we go for a wider stretch. Lift your arches and your toes. Relax your toes back down. Keep the arches lifted. If your arms get tired, you can put your hands on your hips. Otherwise, we're taking some nice full breaths right into our midriff, some beautiful diaphragmatic breathing, feeling our strength and our power, our ability to overcome any obstacle, but no need to be aggressive, simply being assertive of our own self. Let's drop that hand and we'll come into a reverse board. Inhale back up. Come into running warrior twist, so turning your body. You may choose to come into a runner's lunge here so that there's not so much twist in your knee in that leg, and then coming into a runner twist. Inhale back the way you came. Place your foot back on the floor. Turn your toes back in. Come into five pointed star. And toe heel, toe heel, or quietly jump back to Tadasana. Feeling the beating of your heart, the movement of your breath. And when you're ready, we'll step out into five-pointed star on this side. Well, on this side, <laughs> it'll be this side in a minute. Let's turn our toes to the left, hips and shoulders facing front. Deep breath, stretch up tall, and then move your knee forward. That's the only thing that moves. And then turn your head and look over your middle finger. Pick up your toes and your arches. Feel the leg muscles engage. Relax the toes nice and wide, but keep those arches lifted. Then I'm just going for a wider. Yeah. And let's come into reverse warrior.
Inhale back up. Very slowly begin to turn towards the front knee. If you need to, scoop your back foot so that you're in lunge position. Draw your knees towards the midline. Draw your belly in and up. We need to runners twist. Very slowly come back around. Push your back foot back on the floor. Bring your toes to parallel. Five pointed star and toe heel, toe heel, or jump back into Tadasana. Allow the body to savor all the sensations, the after effects of that series. Very good, you're doing great. Let's come to the top of our mat for warrior one and warrior three. Climbing to Dasana here. Let's take the right foot, turn the toes out 45 degrees and step that foot straight back, bending the front knee over the heel. Hips and shoulders square to the front of the room. Inhale up into goddess pose. We're pressing into the back heel. Stay here, bring your hands to your sacrum or to yoga mudra, squeezing the shoulder blades. And if it's safe for your balance, looking up. forward into humble warrior. And then maybe you're only able to do ski jump over the leg or coming all the way down, bringing your shoulder inside your knee, letting your head hang down. Very slowly inhale yourself back up. Bear yourself to the front of your mat, release your hands, and step forward. And allow the body to settle. You're doing great. Bring the hands to the hips, rotate the left toes out, step back foot back, bending the front knee, squaring your shoulders and hips to the front. Press into that back heel, engage the back leg. And again, bring your hands into goddess position here.
Bring the hands behind you either onto the sacrum or interlace your hands the weird way for yoga mudra. Either find your drishti here or if it's safe, lifting the chest and looking up. Coming forward, and again, maybe ski jump is all your body is it capable of, that's fine. Or coming all the way down, bringing your shoulder inside your knee, letting your head hang. Pulling your arms as far away from your torso as you can. Very slowly come on back up. Wearing your hips and shoulders to the front of your mat, top of your mat. Use your hands and step forward and settle in Tadasana. You may feel a little rubbery. You need to shake anything out, go right ahead. And then come towards the back of your mouth. Last one, warrior three. Here at Vajrasana three. Okay. So inhale up, come into steeple position. Draw that belly in and up. You want the support of your core here. Bend your left foot forward just a little bit. Just enough that you can lift your back heel. Find your drishti, and this could be your pose. Nice long line from your foot to your fingertips, or begin to come forward. So it's not coming forward from the hip and leaving the foot on the ground. It's as if you're strapped to a board, and as you come forward, the whole body tips forward in front, and the leg comes up with it. So keeping that straight line, whatever degree that you come forward to. When the foot comes off the floor, you can point to it. And then, good job. Whew, shake that out. Whew. It's a lot of work, wasn't it? You're doing great. I think I'm going to stay here. That's right, I have to stay here. Um, we step forward on our left foot. Yeah. So now we're going to step forward on our right foot. Going to Dasana, draw that belly in and up. Stepping forward, just a little step, just enough so that you can come forward and lift your back heel off the floor. Coming into a steeple pose. And if you really want to challenge yourself, you can do steeple with your hands the weird way. <laughs> wow. That's really going for it. And again, you can stay right here, just creating a long line from your standing leg to your fingertips, or begin to tip forward, keeping a straight line from that back leg to your fingertips. Coming forward as far as you want. I'm not feeling up to it today, but some days you might feel like you can Come all the way forward so that your body's parallel to the floor.
<laughs> and come back to standing. <sighs> come back to Tadasana. Savor all the good work you did today. And let's come back down onto our mats, on our backs, and take in what we've done so far. And let's roll the knees to face the ceiling. We'll bring those legs in, give yourself a hug. Let's glue the hands to the knees and we'll do some knee circles. And circle the other way. And inhale, press the knees away. And exhale, bring the legs in close. And place the feet flat on the floor, preparing for set to Bhagavasana. We're going to do the variation where the arms go up overhead. So we're going to inhale, bring the arms overhead, and exhale, bring back down. Inhale, lift, and exhale, lower. And the next one we're going to lift and hold. So if you'd rather have your arms in a different position, go right ahead. And slowly lower down, bringing your palms down underneath your buttocks as you come down. Straighten out your legs. Nice deep breath when you're ready. Coming up into Matsyasana Fish Pose. Big open hearted asana. You're lifting your chest as high as you can towards the sky. Big open throat. No weight on your head, but the top of your head is either touching or grazing the floor.
and slowly come out and savor the after effect of Matsyasana, fish pose. Now, I love fish pose and I would stay in it a lot longer, but I have this really weird thing where my mouth begins to fill up with saliva and I'm afraid I'm gonna choke, so. You're welcome to stay longer if you don't have that issue. <laughs> And we'll set up for our favorite inversion. So you can just bring your legs in and send them up towards the sky. You can hold them with your hands, reach out to the ceiling, pressing hips and shoulders into the earth. You could put a block under your or pillow under your buttocks and do waterfall, or bring your legs to a wall and do legs up a wall. So we'll hang out for a minute or two in our favorite inversion. Ten more seconds. Good job. Let's bring those knees in and give yourself one more hug. Press the legs away with the legs at right angles. Open your arms out and lower your knees down to one side. Turn your head away from your knees. Try to get the knees stacking one on top of the other. In other words, not having this knee further back. See if you can stack those knees evenly, which then stacks your hips evenly. Maybe you don't twist as far that way. But it's better for your pelvic alignment. Inhale back to center, give yourself a hug. Press your knees away, legs at right angles, open your arms out, lower your knees down to the other side as best as you can, stacking one knee right on top of the other, hip over hip, turn your head away from your knees. Notice how much deeper you feel that twist when you have your top is pressing forward instead of pressing back towards the floor. You may feel it in the shoulder, so if you need to put a prop under this arm or hold the arm a different way, or even just rest it on your hip so that you don't dislocate your shoulder.
And inhale back to center. One last hug. And then get whatever you need for Shavasana. A pillow under your knees, a pillow under your head, socks or a blanket. And we'll allow the body to rest and absorb the benefits of today's practice. You can stay here as long as you like. When you're ready, begin to bring some movement back into your fingers and toes. Gently move and stretch in whatever way feels good to you. Place your feet flat on the floor, roll to one side. Blink your eyes to come back into the room and press yourself up to a seated position. I hope you found a happy place today. Namaste.